Hello everyone. Um, I am here in beautiful downtown Decora at Red Rock Sea Quilt Company. I am Jess Radiski, uh, co-owner of Red Rock Sea Quilt Company, and I have uh, my aunt and full-time employee Jan Schnitzler here with me today. So we just wanted to sit down at our Q20 uh, long arm. We have, well, sit down, it's a sit down, but we'll also show you another, another model um, cabinet later. Uh, but we just wanted to sit down, kind of show you this fabulous machine. Um, I know a lot of you have been have been home, just stitching up quilts like crazy, and maybe want to uh, have the satisfaction of taking your quilts and doing them from start to finish instead of quilting with your checkbook, right, where you send them off to to the long armor. And so we just wanted to showcase the Q20. Um, that we have in the sh in the shop. This is the you can see the Q20 sit down. Um, this cabinet is the the koala, and we'll we'll kind of touch on the on the cabinets a bit later. But just wanted to show you uh, the ease of using this machine and um, and all of its fantastic features that it has. You can see if Tommy can zoom into the screen here, it does have a full color touch screen with lots of different, lots of different options on, on here. You know, we have, of course, the thread tension, um, the option of needle up, needle down. Uh, and then we have two different, uh, th well, actually three different BSR modes. And you can see on, on this machine, that if you are if you are used to Bernina and the Bernina stitch regulator, uh, the Q20 has not only one but two built-in uh, stitch regulators. So that is how you can get perfect, perfect stitching um, so easily by using this machine. There's also uh, speed controls. You have options of what you can do with your foot control um, and just. Uh, lots of lots of great features you can also program it if, if there's a few different people using the machine or if you want to set it up to to depending upon what you are quilting you can there's a program feature in this as well so uh, super easy to thread you can see look at these fabulous LED lights on the machine they're obviously back here and then also at the head at the head as well so super easy to see and the Q20, what that stands for is 20 inches. We have 20 inches of throat space um, that gives you lots of space for your, for your projects and your quilts. So um, it has the, uh, the Bernina threader head, so it's super easy, super easy to thread in that respect. So I'm just gonna go and, and show you how, how beautiful it sounds, uh, show you the different BSR modes, and, and we'll just have, have a little fun here for a few minutes. So, um, again, super easy to bring the thread up. I'm just going to tap on the foot control and it's going to do a needle down, needle up right away. And so I can pull my bobbin thread up and get going. So in BSR mode one, which is what we're on, what the, what the machine does is as I move, the machine just keeps, um, the machine just keeps going. So when I stop, stop my fabric, you can see that the, the needle keeps going up and down. I stop and then I keep going. I have constant pressure on my foot control as I'm doing this, as I'm moving around. Doesn't it sound lovely? Super lovely. Okay, if I switch to BSR2, and you can see that I have, you can uh, change your stitch length as well. Um, but when I switch to BSR2, uh, when I stop, the machine stops. So, so when I stop, the machine stops, stops stitching. So then I just need to press on my foot control again. I stop, the machine stops. So it kind of depends upon what, what mode you get used to. By no means a, a free motion expert, but you just have to relax. Try psyching out my knee. See that? Um, if I want to, you know, if I'm done stitching here, I can just do a few stitches in place. 
I'm gonna bring my needle up, pull my thread away, go back to that spot. Again, do a needle down, needle up, and I can easily, easily pull up, pull up my bobbin thread. So that is fantastic. The other mode that we have with the BSR is BSR3 is the basting mode. So super, super easy to go ahead and, and baste your quilt sandwiches. And we have, you can see the different stitch lengths. You can do one stitch per inch, two stitches per inch, or four. I'm just gonna leave it at the two. Again, I'm gonna just pull up my bobbin thread easily. And then as I go, you can see as I move, it's just gonna do a great basting stitch. Okay. Um, again, I can pull up, easily pull up my bobbin thread if need be on that. Okay, I'm gonna have, uh, one other thing that the Q20 or that, you know, long arm is, is great for is if you enjoy doing ruler work, uh, this is a, this is a phenomenal machine for doing, doing ruler work. And I'm gonna have Jan step in now and just showcase a little bit about, a little bit about ruler work. Okay. We do have some samples here that we'll just quickly show you. Um, this is a quilt in the bag ruler work um, that we do for a class. I'll just toss them off to the side here. <laughs> this was done with an apple core ruler. Um, my first project, I stitched out like two sam two two rows on the ruler and said, okay, good to go. So very easy, um, fun, and that was the tiniest one. Here's some circles and straight line. This is using the wreath and the ruler and circle rulers. As you can see, Jan is our resident uh, ruler work gal and has just done a great job. Uh, with uh, with ruler work, we do offer a lot of classes once we get back opened up with our classes. But ruler work is definitely something that we always have a class on the schedule for. So and then I have a Q20 at home, and that's yes. where I like to spend a lot of my time. <laughs> and this was a one fabric quilt. Not gorgeous. It's probably maybe a little hard to see on the video, but just a. You know, it's a it's a good sampler and I love this quilt because it gives me ideas of things to do on a pieced quilt and as mm -hmm. you could see a lot of these things it was all about the ruler work but I've done quite a few um, quilts now where I'm um, using it in place of sending it to the long armor so we'll do a little bit of demoing there are two different ruler feet that you can use on your Q20 um, there's the number 72, which has an adjustable ruler foot, so depending on how thick your uh, batting is. And then there's the 96, which would be just one level. And one thing on this machine, I'm going to use the BSR too. I like the um, foot or the needle to stop when I stop moving the fabric for ruler work. Some people um, use ruler or BSR mode one. We also have a laser on this machine, which I love because if you can see the little red dot, it shows you exactly where your needle is going to hit. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring up my thread. Oops. I'm gonna do that again because I wanna get both threads under my foot. And what the going here sorry so the ruler foot you just glide along your ruler and it's very nice because with a stitch regulator you do not have to worry about uh, the speed you're moving your fabric and we can move over to about a quarter of an inch line the ruler back up and go back again. So this is a straight edge ruler that as you can see um, by the other projects that we were working on that there were many other rulers. 
And what's nice about the ruler foot is the needle is one fourth inch from the edge. So when you line your ruler up along this edge, you're stitching out a fourth of an inch. So if this was your um, seam line and you wanted to outline it, you could line your ruler up with the edge. Um, one nice thing about ruler work is that um, if you were using a walking foot on your domestic machine, you would have to keep on turning your fabric to go a different direction. In this one, you just turn the ruler and you can go off a different direction. So, and then again, I love the ease of bringing up your thread. You can use your laser light to show where you're bringing it up and pulling up your thread to trim your thread. So this cabinet that we were sewing on, this um, opens up, as you can see, we have one leaf in it. This leaf comes out, it's just like a, your dining room table, you can pull it open. Um, there's a second leaf that goes in and it would pull out to 74 inches long. So at home, depending on the size of project I'm working on, I may have it closed up so that it's only about 45 inches wide, or I may just put in one side or the other side or have it open up depending on the size quilt that I'm working on. So a larger quilt, you're going to want to open it up so it's um, not pulling as you go. And we this, yeah, this, uh, this, uh, this is the Koala cabinet, and it comes in the two, two different color options. You have the teak or just a beautiful white mm -hmm. on that. And as we as we head, we're gonna head over to the adjustable table long arm. Just want to kind of talk about. You can see our whole array of Bernina sewing machines now through the end of the month. We have our trade in, trade up promotion going on, which is 25% off MSRP on all Berninas with a trade in, and your trade in can be anything. So. Um, that is that is a great promotion that they're doing. We also have 0% financing now through tomorrow. So that is a great option on the, especially the Q20s, but really on any on any Bernina. Um, and if you don't have a trade, that's okay. 20% um, off MSRP. So there's savings for you as well. You can see this is the uh, the latest model, the latest cabinet model that they came out with. This is a horn adjustable cabinet. It is absolutely beautiful. You can see that it also has leaves that come up on either side. There's also um, an optional shelving unit that, can, that you can get as an add-on with this cabinet. And it's awesome because um, for those of you who ergonomics is a, is a big thing, some of you might enjoy sitting down, standing up while you're quilting. And so this adjustable table will fit you, anybody, no matter what. And you can also program it to, to a certain height. So um, I'm one I hate sitting, so for me, standing is, standing is awesome. So, and again, same machine, Q20, 20 inches of throat space on this. So did you wanna talk about anything else, Jan? Um, this is one thing oh. that I know long armors love is the being able to change the tension of your bobbin and this is a bobbin gauge which is included with your machine so you can change or test the tension on your bobbin as you change projects or as you change threads so really great um, yeah. uh, piece that you get with it and you can see i'll just show up um this has you know the large the large bobbins so you can sew sew a long ways and not have to worry about worry about changing your bobbin. Um, it also has the external bobbin winder device, which is which is great. So um, you see these drawers for storage on this model. So um, and domestic needles and domestic needles. That is a big thing. Um, domestic needles. So you don't. It does not take special needles. And it also has where you can get a, a wide stitch plate. So you can do. Um, you know, you can just do so much. You can do couching on these machines. So many different, uh, so many different things and the versatility that the Q20 gives you. So we are here, Our, the store is open. Uh, we're closed on Sundays until June and then we'll ba open back up seven days a week. 
So if you want to either come in or set up a time, if you feel more comfortable setting up a time to come in, uh, we can definitely do that too. So uh, thank you for, for sharing the, a few minutes of your time with us today, and we look forward to seeing you in the shop. Thank you.